Hello everyone, welcome to Tarish TV where we bring you information from around the world. Please would like you to subscribe to this channel so if you are yet to subscribe. And please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever a new update is posted. Thank you. The lockdown has been extended in two states in Abuja by two weeks. The federal government on Monday said the recent order of the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, on gradual easing of lockdown will remain in force for another two weeks. The chairman of the presidential task force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, disclosed this at the daily briefing of the task force in Abuja. The president had on April 27th, announced a phase of gradual easing of the lockdown while declaring a nationwide curfew with effect from May 4th. He also ordered a ban on all interstate movements. Mustafa, who is also the secretary to the government of the federation, said, in spite of the modest progress made, Nigeria was not yet ready for full opening of the economy, and tough decisions have to be taken for the good of the greater majority. He said, any relaxation will only potent grave danger for our populace. The current phase of ease restriction will be maintained for another two weeks, during which stickers, enforcement, and persuasion measures will be pursued. The two weeks extension of phase of phase one of the ease restriction is also to enable other segments of the economy to prepare adequately for compliance with the guidelines preparatory to the opening in the coming weeks. For the avoidance of doubts, the SGF added that Mr. President has approved the following. One, the measures, exemption, advisories, and scope of the entities allowed to reopen under phase one of the East lockdown shall be maintained across the Federation for another two weeks. Effective from 12 o'clock midnight today, 18th May 2020, to 1st of June 2020. 2. Intensifying efforts to tell, to tell, communi to tell, communicate, beg your pardon, trace, identify, and treat, manage cases. 3. Elevating the level of community ownership of non-pharmaceutical interventions. 4. Maintain the existing lockdown order in Kano for an additional two weeks. Five, imposition, imposition of precision lockdown in states or in metropolitan I boarding LGAS that are reporting a rapidly increasing number of cases when the need arises. This will be complemented with the provision of palliative and continued re-evaluation of the impact of the intervention. And six, aggressive scale-up of efforts to ensure that communities are informed, engaged, and participating in the response with enhanced public awareness in high-risk states. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has just uh, locked down two states and Abuja for another two weeks.
the comments from people now. Somebody said, where is the president? Mr. President, sir, Nigerians need to see you on live TV broadcasts explaining why things are upside down at the moment. People need answers. People need answers to their questions. And no one can answer these questions except Mr. President. Why the silence? It's taking too long. It's in lockdown. It's as good as locking everywhere. There is no point locking down some parts and easing some parts. People are hungry. People are hungry and angry. Everybody is complaining. Now, another person said, to extend is not the issue, but to complete that is the problem. To comply is the problem. Yes, people no longer comply. People are tired of being locked down with no pilot. If people no longer comply, they now take it as there is nothing happening. As there is nothing happening. Somebody said, no state lockdown. Stop deceiving yourself. Everybody is selling their market normal. Hmm. You see? No state lockdown. Everybody is selling normal. Because they have to eat. They have to feed. They have to feed children. They have to feed wives. They have to feed. They are hungry. Another person said, Nigeria always insult old fool as leaders. Why can't we try young people for once? Maybe if this country can try a youth for once as the president or people holding high position, maybe things will turn around for good in this country. Maybe people can be happy. Maybe Nigerians will be happy. Who knows? If that is going to solve the problem of this country, why can't we try it? Why can't we try it? May God deliver this country. We don't have any place to go. This is our country. It is our home. We don't have anywhere to run to. We don't have anybody to run to. We just have to be in our country. And we must together make everything work. Thank you guys for listening. And I will see you on the other news.